How many times have you heard, to be the best, it takes time? It's not only explain how many times you will go through, but it also explained how many processes, phases, trials, challenges, or even turbulences and many evolutionary roads that you will be facing. We all know that the road will be not simple or easy. They say, everything great will not come easy. I also think about the social problem people have been going through. We've been facing this pandemic battle for nearly three years. The starting point was the hardest. It shook us greatly. It terrified us so much that we were afraid to see what will come. Little did we know, it's the world of the unknown that we fear the most. But then, there are choices, there are leads to deal with this pandemic, new normal lifestyles, quarantine, travel restrictions, vaccines, and many more. This leads us into a more defined world that we could process and establish. It's no longer something of the unknown, it has become less terrifying to live on. I believe some of you may even be enjoying this time around, since your body and most importantly your mind not see this as a challenge anymore. Each human has the ability to be adaptive in many situations. 
So I've been thinking about the process I've been through. Since the rough phase of grief last June due to COVID-19, it took me five months already. It was absolutely not easy. For you out there who have been facing the same turbulences, I know it may be the worst you have in life. But always remember that grief has no limitation. Be sad as you please, because it's worthy. I mean it. But take control of your life on the grip of your hand firmly. You're still in control of where to lead. Even your best companion, your loved ones, has half left. The only choice we're having is by continuing life as it is. The unspeakable world of the afterworld will always terrify us. Life after death will always haunt us. This will make us allowed on continuing the grief we've been having since we are never capable to imagine or to deal the world of the afterlife. We have no lead, how is it? Are they good up there? Will they be seeing us? Will they be missing us here? Because we unstoppably missing them. I know that feeling. This is the reason why we keep questioning. We keep on missing people who left this world. The hardest part being left by people to COVID-19 are the solitude it forcing us. Some of us may not see the funeral procession. The most traumatic are moments where you couldn't be there at their final breath. They might struggle alone, might at the hospital. Only a few nurses or doctors accompanied them. Then we're not allowed to see them for the last time. If we force ourselves to come to the funeral, we are forced to self-quarantine too, which will make us more empty on the inside. We cannot hug each other as family will do to strengthen one another. The environment was also being ominous. We have heard sirens sound every day. Numbers of deaths were escalating and spread by the news. All of it is only makes us frightened even more.
I believe one thing for sure. God is preparing us for something immaculate. The one that beats us the most is the one most softened. I do believe that I'm, as well as you, who face the grief of loss due to this pandemic, were being prepared for something magnificent. Our hearts are prepared for the goodness of the world because we are strong enough to overcome fear. We are the selected few. We are not chosen to live this way if there's no wisdom in each hurt that we bear with. Have a little self-compassion. Then, and only then, we will finally be able to cherish each pleasure. Even the tiny joy will hit differently. We are more grateful than ever before. As I am, today and on. Thank you.